Foreign Secretary level talks between India and Pakistan has been rescheduled. Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Vikas Farooq said the talks scheduled for today have now been rescheduled for very near future and it was agreed to by both the foreign secretaries. He also said national security advisors of both the countries are in regular touch. India has welcomed Pakistan government's statement on Pathan Court attack probe that considerable progress has been made against terror elements involved in the attack. MEA spokesperson Vikas Farooq said that New Delhi has taken cognizance of Pakistan forming a committee to look into Pathan Court attack and arrest of Jaisa Mohammed members. He said Pakistan is sending a special investigation team to Pathan Court and Indian intelligence agencies will work together and provide all support. The National Investigation Agency is fast unraveling the layers to the Pathan Court terror attack case. Investigation indicates a sharp similarity between the Pathan Court air base attack and the earlier Gurdaspur terror attack. Meanwhile, former Gurdaspur SP Salvinder Singh continues to remain under the NIA scanner. The centre approved an assistance of 791 crore rupees to drought affected Telangana from the National Disaster Relief Fund. The high level committee chaired by Home Minister Rajnath Singh approved it after examining the proposal based on the report of the central team which visited the state. Delhi government's odd even scheme ends today. Over the past two weeks, the city witnessed decongestion on city roads, though the jury is still out on whether there was a dip in peak pollution levels or not. Cane price arrears for 2014-15 sugar season have now come down by nearly 90% to 2,700 crore rupees. Last year in April, the cane arrears stood at 21,000 crore rupees. An official release said several measures taken by the centre improved liquidity of sugar mills and enabled them to clear cane price dues of farmers. Prime Minister Narendra Modi lauded efforts of unsung heroes who shaped the history of the country. Giving away awards at a function in New Delhi to persons who contributed immensely for the betterment of society, PM said their role cannot be forgotten in the days to come. Saying inner strength can beat all odds, Prime Minister said, whom society consider inferior, they play a major role in the growth of the nation. Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu has said that a proper and a sustainable transportation sector would play a key role to fast-track India's development and economic growth. Addressing an audience at an event in Washington, Prabhu said India wants to involve the US in its modernization of the railways. India is already working with more than a dozen countries in this regard. Government of India signed a loan agreement with World Bank for the Niranchal National Watershed Project. Union Minister for Rural Development Bhinder Singh, who presided over the loan signing agreement, later told the media that all 28 states which implement the watershed projects will benefit from Niranchal. Cold conditions prevailed in North India with Leh in Jammu and Kashmir shivering at minus 13.2 degrees Celsius. Dense fog affected road and rail traffic in the region. Delhi aids to experience a slight chill in the air as overcast conditions prevailed in the national capital. Cold conditions also prevailed in Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan with mercury dropping by few notches. Makar Sankranti is being celebrated in various parts of the country. This year Makar Sankranti festival is spread over two days. On the second day of Makar Sankranti today, thousands of devotees converged in Allahabad at confluence of Ganga, Yamuna and mythical Saraswati to take holy dip that also marked the beginning of the annual month-long religious congregation Magh Mela. An emergency meeting of the UN Security Council to demand the lifting of sieges in Syria and allow aid deliveries to civilians facing starvation may be held later today. France, Britain and United States have yesterday requested that the meeting be held to draw the world's attention to the humanitarian tragedy that is unfolding in several towns in Syria. World Health Organization has declared an end to the Ebola outbreak in Liberia, meaning that all known chains of transmission of the disease have been stopped in West Africa. The end of active transmission was declared after 42 days without a new case in Liberia. Indo-British director Asif Kapadia's documentary Amy, based on the life of singer Amy Winhouse and Indian-American Sanjay Patel's animated short film Sanjay's Super Team have bagged nominations at this year's Academy Awards. Amy has been nominated in the Best Documentary Feature category, whereas Sanjay's Super Team has been nominated in Animated Short Film. India will take on Australia in the second cricket one day at the Gaba Brisbane today. At present, the hosts are leading the five-match series 1-0 with a comfortable five-wicket victory in the opening encounter played at Perth on Tuesday.